guys so welcome back to my channel so today i'll be doing my daily skincare routine for y'all and if you guys like to know more keep on watching i usually start off with um cleanser but i usually do cleanser over at the shower so i don't have to take so much time to do my skincare afterwards so firstly i go on with my lourish Posay thermal spring water and i put it on my cotton pad because i find it that this product helps to um, really reduce all my redness and soothe my skin. Yeah, I really love how it feels on my skin. It really feels so um, really cooling and really soothing. I do have redness um, all around my eyes and also my, um, my nose area and my cheeks. I always love to use this spring water, thermal spring water to help me soothe um, the redness around my eyes and also my cheek area. I love how it feels on my skin. So this tab, I um, since I don't have, I haven't bought my toner and my essence yet, so I just use this to replace the step of my toner and my essence. So up next, I use my Marine Hyaluronics um, during the day uh, when I don't have a toner, when I don't have an essence. I just need something really light to start off um, my skincare. And so I use this because this has the most um, lightest um, consistency and texture. And also if I don't, if I travel and I don't bring my moisturizer, I can always replace it with this because I feel this really helps to um, give me enough hydration and also moisturization. All my skincare um, products, right? I actually bought them um, off Beauty Bay, so y'all can check them out. It's really, really, really affordable. So for my Marine Hyaluronics, I just put it around my hand here. As it's a very light consistency, I don't like to put it on my face because of sanitary reasons. So I just put it on my hand and I just do it like an essence. And I just tap, tap. I do it like that. Coat is really, really watery and I like to put it like how I use my essence. It's best to put it like that as I feel like it's it's really like it goes all over your skin evenly. So once you let this dry on your face, usually wait for 10 seconds and let it dry. How did I get to know Beauty Bay and this very affordable and really good products is by my friend. She introduced me to um, The Ordinary and she, took, uh, she teach me how to use the products and I'm, I'm like so happy that I got to know because some of the products really are effective for my skin type. So I'm a, I'm a, a normal to combo skin type. So next I use um, Niacinamide with a zinc 1%. So this product from The Ordinary really helps to um, just blur up my pores and also helps to like if I have pimples or acne it really really helps to just um, heal it within three days and your any acne or like your bumps that you feel on your skin really helps to like reduce them and I see results with this product usually I like to use it around my nose because it helps to blur my pores so when I use makeup that's where I love using this. And for this product, I really see um, results because I used to have pimple, like really small white hit pimples, just dry and white hit pimples around here, around my forehead, around my nose, around my cheeks area, right? When I use this and put it on top of them, it really helps to um, heal them. And for the next three days, uh, yeah, I didn't see any any more of them. So I'm really really happy with this product But one thing you need to take note of is that when you apply on your pimples or when you apply it on um, a very red skin Do note that it is going to sting a little bit So what I usually do if it's sting right, I usually um, take a 
cotton pad and my thermal spring water I just spray it and just put above it because this helps to cool down your skin as you need while your skin is actually purging right so I, just, I usually just put it on top where it hurts for a bit and once and after a while it, um, I didn't feel the pain anymore yeah. the thermal spring water really helps to calm your skin, your skin down that's what I like to do but usually uh, people might get alarmed by products that uh, may stink but for me I've seen the results with this product so I'm I'm really happy with it like there's nothing bad I can say about this so product. after um, yeah I do my niacinamide so usually I put a lot of serums around my face because I feel that my face can take more serums than moisturizers I feel uh, moisturizers are a bit heavy on me and my skin couldn't take this I'm gonna take the Argeline Solution by Ordinary 10% um, so this is an anti-aging product what it does is actually reduce your fine lines and yeah it just basically reduce your fine lines so I know that I'm not that old yet to be putting anti-aging products but prevention is always a must for me and I'm gonna turn 25 in two more years it's best to like prevent it now then never you know. The starting age of aging is 25. So I don't want to, you know, start aging on 25. Maybe just slow the process. So I usually put around my um, fine lines, around my lines of my face. I put it in my eye here. So this thing, this line, I've had it since I was a little kid. So I've been trying to reduce it as much as I can as I grow older. So for this product, right? Um, I put it around here so because most people get wrinkles and fineness around here I put around the lines here and around my smile lines because when you grow old those are gonna pop even more and around my um, eye area here because when you smile you might get a light so when I turn 30 I would I would slow the process of aging usually the reason why you age is because you're elastic um, has weakened and so once your elastin has weakened aren't able to stretch that much anymore and so it will just leave a line that indicates your skin is not stretching as per normal anymore so after my Argelian solution right I usually use the thinnest to the thickest texture and then after that I would use my caffeine solution uh, 5% plus EGCG What it does, it helps to reduce the puffiness around your eyes and also reduce the dark circles around your eyes and you won't be looking as tired as you usually do with this product For this, I've seen um, very minimal results So about about the ordinary, I feel that you have to um, keep using the product in order to see um, results I put it at the back of my hand for sanitary reasons, of course so, and I put a little bit in my finger and I just put it down here so put it around my eyes and usually if I get tired or I didn't sleep that well I just use this product sometimes I like to put it above here I usually move forward to my eye cream so for now I'm using um, the Sunday Skin um, eye cream so this is a, a hydrating eye cream what it does it just hydrates on your under eye and make sure it doesn't go dry so I put it um, at my forefinger like that and just put it on my eyes okay I don't usually put um, mask on or anything because usually during the day I don't have much time okay, I mean like during the day I'm usually off to school off to work uh, even if I'm at home, I got no time. Not that much time. I, I can start cooking by like 2.30 or 1 p.m. And I only end at 6 or 7 p.m. So that really took half of my day. Usually um, during the day when I want to go work or when I want to um, go to school, I usually um, put on makeup. And when I put on makeup, I use this. So this is my last step of my skincare as I don't use moisturizers as it's kind of heavy for my skin. I do produce enough oils and moisturize my skin. This is my uh, last step of my skincare which is a sunscreen plus a makeup primer. This Lourish Pussy um, 
Aqua Su Superior Daily Multi Protection with 50 SPF. It's really, really damn good. Like, it holds my makeup for super long hours. It leaves a very, very, um, it leaves a sticky texture above on the surface of my skin. And when I apply the makeup on, it really helps to stick on my makeup for long hours. So I really love this product. Your makeup gonna stay all day. So I usually like to um, just push out some products over here because um, about this product, right, it kind of like hardens. Usually for creams or for thick texture products, it hardens on the surface of the um, the container here. So I like to push it out, all of it, and not get the hard things on my face. I put it at the back of my hand. So one thing I love about this product is it's really a very not not as thick kind of sunblock consistency. It's pretty watery in a way and I just love how it feels on my skin. If I'm at home and I'm not going anywhere and I don't need to put sunscreen, I wouldn't want to put this because it leaves a sticky texture afterwards. So it's pretty, actually meant to put uh, makeup above lah. So all products, I put it at the back of my hand. I feel like my hand is like the perfect palette to put all my products there. But I do wipe um, my products away with a, with a calm pad. So I put it all over. I've never used a makeup primer before, but when I started using this, I literally saw a huge difference in my makeup and how it wears. Like, girl. Yeah, makeup ain't running anywhere with this primer on. It really does the job. I'm so surprised and I'm so happy. And no wonder it's expensive. It's like $35. It's $35 for 30ml. I got this on sale. So I paid maybe $20 for this. So after I apply it, I'll feel like I usually feel this very tacky consistency in my face, which I hate it when I'm not using makeup. Luckily, I'm using makeup later, and so this is perfect. So that's it guys, so I hope y'all enjoy my daily skincare routine. And if y'all want to find out my nighttime routine, because I usually do um, brightening on my nighttime routine. Yeah, I use product, I use brightening products on my nighttime routine. So stay tuned for that if you'd like to know more. And also, if you'd like to see that, can comment down below saying that you would like to see that. Until next time, bye!